Hey hey everyone! So I'm going to try jumping on the Vlogmas bandwagon. Um, I don't really give a shit about Christmas, like I'm not Christian and I'm kind of like socially eh, whatever, like traditions and stuff, I don't care a whole lot. I mean, you know, I'll go and do all the family stuff and whatever, but I don't really care about Christmas. No, the reason I thought I'd jump on the Vlogmas bandwagon, I mean, the first time I heard about it was on, like, YouTube, the creator's channel, and they suggested, hey guys, do Vlogmas on December 19th last year, <laughs> and you're just like, oh my god, one of the things they said is like, oh, you should plan, plan ahead and all that kind of stuff, and they couldn't even plan ahead for their own you should do vlogmas thing to be relevant like they're like oh yeah you got to do it every day until christmas yeah well you probably should have told everyone at the start of december anyway little tangent no the reason i thought i'd jump onto it is because like you know way back when in like my early youtube days when i was like doing it all the time i did daily vlogs and sometimes twice daily and like any thought i had basically was going online yeah i know some of you guys have said oh i miss when you do, used to do that so i thought hey like i don't give a shit about christmas but as a christmas present to those of you who um do miss that i guess i will try doing daily vlogs um you know gonna be a bit of a challenge because i did get out of the habit but here's the thing is, if I try this and if it's successful, then maybe I will get back into the habit and maybe these daily vlogs will go longer than just Christmas. I don't know. We will see. Um, but yeah, I do need to think about how I'm going to do this because, um, you know, like the way that I've been doing videos lately, it takes a little bit longer. Um, and I try and think things through a little bit more and then I do all the editing and stuff. So, you know, probably like for Vlogmas, things are going to be a little bit low quality. Um, I will probably express opinions that I haven't really thought through and that like I'm probably open to changing my mind if I say something really dumb. So, yeah. Um, so less intelligent, less research stuff, maybe? I don't know. I mean, it's debatable whether anything I've said so far is particularly well thought out or researched anyway, but expect the quality to be a bit lower. I don't know. Subjective. Some of you guys want me to do more of the natural, like, yeah, 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 talking kind of thing. So maybe that's better. I don't know. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm thinking a little bit about how to manage it. Um, one thing I've considered is maybe giving myself time limits because, like, back in those YouTube days... There was that 10 minute time limit. Do you remember when YouTube had 10 minute time limits? And nowadays my videos are going for like 20 minutes to half an hour. Um, and that's part of the reason it's harder for me to make more videos because like I am sitting for longer, which means there's more to edit. Um, not that I really edited much in the past, but yeah, now there's definitely more to edit um, just to make things not be an hour long. Um, yeah, um, and then also like, these days this thing records in HD. I could make it lower but you know um the file size is still heaps bigger than what my tiny little webcam used to put out regardless of me scaling this down. Um yeah so with my Australian internet it does take a while to upload when I have really long videos. So I thought yeah maybe I could give myself a time limit um, get my little Nokia out, because I still use that for, um, you know, alarms and stuff, and just be like, yeah, 10 minute alarm, and go off, and whatever. Um, yeah, I've thought about that, and then maybe I try and do it without edits, like I used to do less editing, um, so that would save me time and make it easier for me to do daily vlogs. But on the other hand, um, throughout Vlogmas, like, I'm still living my life, so there are probably going to be things like today, where I went out and did stuff, so, um, yeah, I will get into that in a minute, but yeah, Vlogmas, let me know what you think, and if you've got ideas, um, I do have, like, a whole bunch of ideas queued up, and, um, I guess I will go into some of them, like, I, uh, there are some that I wanted to do more detailed videos, but it's taken me so long to get to it that I think maybe I should just drop the whole trying to be detailed thing and just, like, blurt out whatever, and then I can come back later and correct myself if I've changed my mind or if I got something wrong, yeah, maybe I'm trying too hard to make good videos. Um, so yeah, I might go through some of those other topics that I've been thinking of um, and just do them really quick. I don't know, I haven't really decided, but if you have ideas for things I can do in Vlogmas, put them in the comments. Um, yeah, and that's all I will say about the Vlogmasy stuff. 
right now, maybe, I mean, who knows, but let's get on to what my day was. I'm going to show you some clips of my day and then I will talk about what it all was about. All right. This is my classmates' graduating exhibition. You can pause that to read it. We have to wait for that one to restart, it's burning stuff. So we'll walk around the other ones. So I don't know all these people, but I guess most of them. Here's mine. Kind of lame, but whatever. Cute. Oh. <laughs> Almost forgot about this one on the stage. Pretty cool. And here's my minding table. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm minding the gallery for the next uh, two and a half hours, and then someone else is going to take over from me. All the Christmassy shit in Sydney right now. Fuck this, I'm going to Nando's. God, they've even fancied up the uh, terrorist blocking stones. <laughs> na 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 Nando's! Hell yeah! Finally relaxing at Nando's. I will tell you about my day later. Mm. Yeah, so today I was up at Kudos Gallery, which is connected to UNSW Art and Design. Um, at the moment, it's, um, what do they call it? The AD Annual? A&D Annual? I don't know. Um, it's, it's essentially the annual um, graduating exhibition. So everyone who's finished this year is entitled to put something in the exhibition. Um, yeah. So that's what I was minding. Um, the artwork I put in was my EP, which um, I released last month. Um, <clears throat> because, you know, like I've got art, but I was kind of like, I don't know what I want to put in this. Um, and you've only, like, you can only have a certain amount of stuff. I didn't want to take up too much space. Um, but I did want to get something in there just so I can add it to my artist CV in case I ever need the artist CV. So yeah, I put my music in. It's just in a digital frame 
um, and on headphones um, because like my music isn't for everyone I thought it would be kind of rude for me to just play it out into the open I mean I know there were some things in that exhibition that were quite loud um, and repetitive and if you stay there for ages it does get a little bit like woo but um, all that stuff is more in like the normal artsy kind of thing whereas mine is um, well, my music, like, you have to be into that sort of thing to get it and not feel like it's horrible. Also, um, that digital frame, like, it's a kind of a cheap old technology one, so the speakers aren't very good, um, so it's probably better to just have it on headphones. The headphones aren't very good either. Um, my whole idea was to hopefully get people to go to my band camp and just listen to it there on their own speakers in their own time, because the EP goes for almost 20 minutes. No one is going to stand there looking at my shitty little screen for 20 minutes listening to all the music. So yeah, my hope was that, that people would go home, listen to it um, on their own speakers and all that kind of stuff. I don't think many have or will um, because it's not really art. It's my weird music. Um, yeah, I mean, I did really well in the assignment for that, but um, that was partly with my live performance, not just the recording. Um, yeah, and the other thing is I don't want to give him good headphones because the only other headphones I have are these, and they're my mixing headphones, and they are too nice and too expensive and too fancy. I'm not letting a whole bunch of strangers wear them, um, so yeah, mum found those dodgy headphones that I gave the uni. Um, they're actually headphones that someone gave Mikey as like a present, but Mikey doesn't like putting things on his head. Um, Mikey's my disabled brother. Um, he, he's okay putting a, a regular hat on his head, but if you try and put anything else on his head, he doesn't like it. So yeah, headphones not being used. I'll take them to uni, they're cheap, so it doesn't matter if, um, you know, people mark them up. Um, it just means that they sound terrible, but yeah, no, like I said, no one's going to stand there for 20 minutes listening to my EP. Um, yeah, and then there's a whole bunch of other people's stuff, I can't be bothered to explain it. I think I can probably, I'll try and find the link for the online catalogue, um, if you want to have a look at what my classmates have done, but, um, yeah, hopefully they've got one that's just Masters, Master of Art students, um, because that's my class. But in the whole exhibition, there's like 200 people in it um, because, you know, the undergrads and then the research students like, you know, PhDs and Master of Fine Arts. I just did a Master of Art, which is coursework, where there, whereas there's people doing Master of Fine Arts, which is the research one, the fancier one. Um, but somehow on the academic scale, I'm at the same level as those people who did research degrees in a weird sort of way. I don't know. I think they should make a distinction um, between coursework masters and research masters, like, I, I saw a thing saying we're level 9, whereas PhD is level 10, and I'm like, no, um, probably the research guys, research masters should be like 9.5, or I should be like 8.5, or I, I don't know, anyway, going off on a tangent like I always do, um, yeah, I'll try and find a link and put it in the description if you're interested in the rest of, um, this year's UNSW Art and Design Annual, um, Anyway, so uh, because I'm in the exhibition, um, they try and get everyone to mind the gallery. I only have to do it from 11 a.m. until 1.30 p.m. Saturday shift is shorter than weekday shift, so yeah, let's do it. Um, I only had four people come in anyway, and I just, they had Wi-Fi, so the time passed really fast. I also read everyone's stuff, made sure everything was working. But here's the thing, <clears throat> I almost didn't have to do it because, um, uh, so today's Saturday, on Wednesday, um, and this is when I got back from this cruise, which, like, I will have to tell you about later, and actually, going back to the Vlogmas thing just quickly, because I forgot, um, with the Vlogmas thing, like, I'm going to try and do daily vlogs every day, like, these short, hopefully short ones, but I may also do proper videos, um, and I may also have a whole bunch of videos coming up from this, um, cruise that I just went on, um, yeah, so I haven't decided how to manage that because I don't know if anyone wants to see cruise stuff, but, um, you know, family do. So I think there's a box I can tick that doesn't alert subscribers, um, and I'm kind of considering doing that. Um, if you want me to untick that box, let me know in the comments, but if you don't care or if you do want to see my cruise things, then in the comments. Um, I'll probably put a playlist together, I don't know, but yeah. Um, 
There may be random holiday videos and stuff as well as video blogs. I did vlog while I was on the thing and I'm really getting off topic. Anyway, so we got back from the cruise on Wednesday morning and um, in Sydney it was just belting down. Um, what it was like, I, 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 I may be getting this wrong because I can't be bothered to research, but there was like two months worth of rain in like two hours. Um, a lot of rain. I think the highest number I saw for anywhere was 150 um, mils of rain for the whole day and like I mean even our roof like we we've got a huge leaky roof all of a sudden and so we've got to get that fixed we've got a soggy carpet in one of the rooms um yeah but so huge rain in Sydney a bit of chaos um if you were traveling on trains and whatever um yeah good thing we got home easily which is another story Anyway, so with those big floods, this gallery that I was mining today, it's this old heritage building, um, and so, yeah, it got flooded. Um, the opening was on Tuesday night, and then Wednesday it was so badly flooded, and, like, they were, they, they had to shut the gallery on Wednesday, and indefinitely, because they had to patch up the roof and get an electrician in to make sure that there is no, like, you know, electrical kind of stuff to worry about, make sure it's all safe for, um, everyone. Um, yeah, so I only found out last night whether or not I'd be doing this, because, um, yeah, they still weren't sure if they were going to be able to open. But today, um, yeah, today was the first day of this exhibition, like, properly opening since the opening night. Um, so the first full day of exhibitions, which meant I was the first person to go in, um, turn everything on and hope that it worked. Um, try not to explode anything, try not to set everything on fire. Um, yeah, so that was kind of an interesting thing. Um, and some of the instructions were a bit vague um, because, like, I had to turn on all the lights and so the top two lights were fine, they had a little tick next to them, but the bottom one said, don't turn this on. And I was like, but I was told the gallery was fine, so I had to talk to the gallery person, um, get them to call me and, um, you know, just be like, is this safe to turn on? And yeah, it was. And then I had to fix up um, one of the artworks had, like, um, it's on this iPad and I think it ran out of battery or whatever so when the power came back on it was ch it charged up again and then I had to turn on the video but then the volume was really low and it actually the sound thing was unplugged so I had to plug that back in turn up the volume um, and then get the thing to loop because it wasn't looping anymore but it's all good I got it working and everyone else's electronic things were easy to turn on and then of course there were the ones that weren't electronic um, probably mine might have been the easiest to turn on. Um, actually there was another one where all you had to do was turn it on. With mine I turned it on, um, but it didn't come on fast enough, so I turned it off and turned it back on again. It's such old technology, I will rant about that digital frame at some point, I guess, if I remember. Anyway, so I minded the gallery for two and a half hours, and that was fine, and then I went to Nando's, um, trying to figure out which way to go, I ended up getting off at Hyde Park and then went through um, to the Clarence Street store because that one's quite close to a, um, you know, little transport hub with the trains and the buses and whatever. So um, we, we need station is really good for a lot of that stuff. I suppose I could have gone somewhere near Town Hall, but actually, hmm, what's Town Hall close to? The sort of close to the Kent Street Nando's, but not really, and it's not really close to the World Square Nando's, so Clarence Street Nando's near Wynyard. Um, yes, I like Nando's. There used to be a Nando's near where I live, and, um, where I used to work, and, like, every lunch break I would go to Nando's, and I ended up on their VIP list, and getting invited to, like, a nude drawing session with free dinner and all that, like, yeah, there was a time in my life where I was a real Nando's junkie, um, but then they closed their store, I think because I got a different job, and so, well, I blame myself. And look, we're up to 10 minutes, and this is only the second half of the vlog, so good luck with the time limits, hey! Anyway, um, yeah, no, when I changed jobs, I was no longer near that Nando's, um, uh, so, yeah, I obviously stopped going there every lunchtime, um, and then shortly after that, they closed down, and I still blame myself because that was the closest Nando's to my house, and now I can't go. I have to go somewhere else to get my Nando's fix. Ah, um, 
So yeah, but this also means that I have a gazillion Nando's points, so my Nando's was free. And yes, I am the kind of person who constantly orders the same food. Like, depending on where you go, there's always like a certain food that I always order. Occasionally, like some places, there are two things that I like. So like, if I go to Macca's, I like cheeseburgers, and I also like the filet of fish ones. Um, so sometimes I'll get one or the other, or sometimes both if I think I'm really hungry, but usually I can't finish everything because if I think I'm really hungry, I would also get the chicken nuggets and there's no way I can eat two burgers and all the chicken nuggets and all the chips and like have a drink as well. No, it's not going to happen. But every now and then I get ambitious and I think maybe let's try it. But no, with, um, well, what else do I eat? Like, um, Indian, always butter chicken, Thai, always pad Thai, um, I will try things that other people have ordered because usually we all get a whole bunch of stuff um, but I have to have my favourite one just so that I know I'm definitely going to eat something. With Nando's though I always get the same order. It's always a classic burger lemon and herb and then if I'm getting the meal I'll get the chips without the peri peri and then a coke. Um, yeah because I'm a creature of habit. I used to get the mini burger, but then they stopped making the mini burger. And also this, that was at the time that I was on Citalopram, Supermill, whatever. And that was the one that was suppressing my appetite. So I was losing weight and we didn't know it was because of the drugs. We thought maybe it was just because of depression and I got sent to a diet, dietitian, I think, or non-nutritionist. I think it was a dietitian. I got sent to a dietitian and she's like, so you know, we've got to try and get you to eat more, here are some things, and I was like, yeah, because I'm picky, I don't like a lot of the things that she was suggesting, but I at some point mentioned that I like Nando's, like I can pretty much always eat Nando's, and she's like, so what do you eat, and we went through the menu, and she's like, no, don't have the mini burger, you need something with a little bit more in it, um, why not have this one, the classic burger, and I was like, okay, I'll have the classic burger, and I've been having that ever since. Every now and then, um, if I've got like a freebie through my Perry Perks thing, I will add some bacon on it or whatever, um, but yeah, usually, almost always, classic burger, lemon and herb, that, that's my thing. Anyway, <laughs> so much for a short video, um, because yeah, once I edit this together, it's probably gonna be like 20 minutes or maybe longer, um, but at least it'll be easy to edit because I've just been rambling. Um, yes, welcome to Vlogmas. Hopefully I will be able to do one video every day, at least up to Christmas. And if it goes well, possibly into the future, we will see. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about stuff. Um, probably gonna switch things up and not just do pure blogs like I might show my bonsai. Or maybe I'll be like doing a painting and being like, hey guys, painting. Um, also, uh, on occasion, maybe instead of, like, a vlog for Vlogmas, I'll do, like, a live stream for Vlogmas, which will turn into a vlog for anyone who's late to show up. Like, you know, if you don't make it live, you can just pretend it's a proper vlog. I don't know. We shall see. Um, ideas and stuff. Yeah, I feel like there was something else I was going to say, but I have forgotten it. So, I guess it can wait for tomorrow's video, maybe. Um... Or if I think of it soon enough before I've loaded all this onto my computer um, to stitch it together, maybe I'll have one of those little things that I tack on to the end of the videos. Anyway, so yeah. First vlog, most vlog done. And I will see you all tomorrow. And it's definitely going to be tomorrow if I stick to this, so yay! Oh my gosh, I've got so many things to catch you guys up on with like things that have been going on in my life like the once a week vlog and even with the extra little things it's just not enough to get everything out of my head that I want to anyway so this could be a good thing.